Hello and a warm welcome here from the Swaco Traffic World, uh, our headquarters in Austria in Wattens near Innsbruck. My name is Richard Neumann. I'm working in the marketing and communication department of the Swaco Group and it's my pleasure to welcome you today. They are made of one component high solid paints. They are made of cold plastic, of two component systems, of thermoplastic. They are made of preformed thermoplastic. They can be made of tape. They can be tactile for the visually impaired people and the blind. They can be fluorescent. They can be luminescent. They can be flat. They can have a structure. They can even glow in the dark. And usually they contain glass beads, tiny little microspheres with just one millimeter of diameter. And they give definition to blunt stretches of asphalt and concrete. And I'm talking, of course, about road marking, road marking systems. And road marking systems give definition to the road, as I already told you, but this is important to make the roads readable for the modern cars and for the advent of the automated driving. Swaco is one of the prominent players on a global scale uh, in road marking systems. We provide our road marking systems from Tennessee to Tokyo and from Austria to Australia. World Highways magazine wanted to know more about the secrets of road markings and talked to us. My colleague Harald Mosböck, Vice President of the Swaco Road Marking Systems Division, answers the questions World Highways ask us. Let's listen. Thank you, Richard. Hello, everyone. I'm David Armas, the Deputy Editor of World Highways Magazine. My first question to you, Harold, is will we see an increase in the use of structured road markings, type 2 markings, as against type 1 markings, flat line markings? Well, I really hope that we will see an increased use of uh, type 2 lane markings like here made out of MMA on trans-European road network and on the road network in general because that kind of lane markings you see when the drivers need them the most and this is on rain in the night and uh, that's not only good for the human visions because proved by several studies as well much more better detectable for camera visions for future automated vehicles. Harold, what do we know about the deterioration of structured road markings and how about their lifespan? How long will they last? Indeed, type 2 link markings are subject to normal wear and tear like any other road marking systems. But uh, with the usage of here, for example, high performance MMA products in combination with more durable glass beads as drop on, you can increase the lifetime and you achieve already very good results. Will the supply of structured road markings be able to meet demand, particularly in the age of the increasing use of autonomous vehicles? Well, actually, I have absolutely no doubt that the European road marking industry is ready to fulfill the demand of, of road administrations to supply all kinds of type 2 lane markings on the trans-European road network. Because it is not that on every kilometer on European roads, type 2 lane markings will be requested. This is as well from budget points of view a challenge, but on the trans-European road network, so the primary road network, the industry is ready. Will the cost of structured road markings discourage road agencies from insisting that they be used? Yes, indeed. Type 2 lane markings are more costly when, than when you compare to standard road marking systems. However, they provide a very big advantage, as mentioned, visibility under inverse conditions, visibility under rain and in the night. And with the usage of high performance materials that provide long life, it's certainly compensated. And at the end of the day, we're always talking about traffic safety and saving lives. Thank you, Harold, for your answers. And thank you to Richard and the Swarco team for your cooperation in making this. If you like this video, follow the links below. It's goodbye for me and World Highways. Thank you.